I call this meeting to order. And we will begin with the minutes from last week, I believe. You do the consent agenda all at once. Oh. So the minutes, the admin COAs, and the new owners. Okay. We'll open with the consent agenda. I move approval of the consent agenda. Do I hear a second? I'll second. Approved. We have to vote. Oh. All in favor. All in favor. Aye. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> New business, I believe, will we begin with? Did you, did you Here, I it's the old agenda. Business. Oh, old business first? Okay. Old business. Uh, and this is previously tabled. And this is for a shed at 813 Federal Street. Do we have the owner? Good afternoon. <laughs> Could you state your name, please, ma'am? Uh, yes, my name is Sandra Farmer Mitchell. I reside at 813 Federal Street here in Lynchburg and have since I have been on this earth. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> You're proposing this style without the windows. <coughs> right. Um, with the door on the end right there. Well, no, more on the side. Um, I want the long side kind of flush with okay. the fence. So we're going to, yeah, so for that, that one. Okay, I one. saw the check on this one. Right. But So I what was it? On, oh, the siding on this one, so the right. horizontal siding. Yeah. Um, so it's that horizontal siding? But yeah. The, yes. So this style with the horizontal siding in, in these colors. So that's the roof. Mm -hmm. And then the siding would be gray and the trim white. Mm -hmm. Okay, exactly. and that's the previous. Okay. Can I move approval since I was the one that saw it? You can? Okay, I move approval of the uh, petition. You really can't see it from the street. <laughs> I've been back up there. So. Do I hear a second? Second. With that, I open for discussion, if any. No one? What color is, your, is, the, is the house? The house is a shade of green that when the light hits it, it looks gray sometimes. Uh, but it's that house. And uh, it looks gray right now, but it is a shade of green. Mm -hmm. And do you have a red roof on your house? Yes. Mm -hmm. And it matches the gingerbreading at the top. And dark pieces is the red. Mm -hmm. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Not opposed. Motion passed. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. And the second business, old business, is for 2904 Rivermont Ave for rebuilding of porches with the upper porch enclosed. Do we have a representative? We do. Yes, good afternoon. Maurice good afternoon. Becerra. Good afternoon. Mm -hmm. So I sent a rendering of what we'd like to achieve, and that's to enclose the We've, we've already received approval on enclosing the upper section. Um, I believe the committee wanted to see what it would look like to have both of them enclosed and uh, style of the windows as well. And so that's what I sort of came up with to give you an idea of the number of windows, the spacing, um, where we would do faux columns above the, the brick piers on the first level and we would continue that line upward. 
they're not exact, and some of these are tilted because of the picture, but you get the idea of where they would be located. Emmett, you weren't here for the last one, correct? No, that was not. All right. Do, you, do we have pictures of, do you have pictures of what it looks like? Okay, yeah. that's what it looks like now. Do we have pictures of the house next door? Just to give you an update, these okay. these houses were built for sisters, I believe, correct? Yeah. That's right, yep. They're not exact, but they're, I think they're duplicate inside, but the mm -hmm. style's different. Okay. The guy next door put the second floor and closed his. Um, these are, and this is how you can see him from that side okay. street. So he enclosed his. Okay. So he's trying to do something with his two floors or his his two uh, porches. Okay. And so we sent him back to show us a little more of what he wanted, and this is what we got. So this was. Um, for Commissioner McSwain, since he's not here as the advocate, uh, I'll open this up for discussion. So the, uh, so the picture that you're showing here, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm, I'm new, so I apologize, sure, yeah. I wasn't here for the last meeting, mm -hmm. on the, where you're saying the second um, floor addition, which is in the beige, is not is that there now with the railing? Yeah, the railing area is there now. That just shows a different color, but we're continuing that same trim color throughout. So all the all the wood pickets and columns and soffit will be that that shade. Um, the blue on the shingles is just to have a contrast right now. We haven't decided on the color. We'll come back to you guys on uh, you get an advice on a color for the shingles. Um, but that, that's the way it exists now. So the only side that's the rendering is the two levels that are enclosed. The right side, the dark blue, is already as it is. And you're proposing to? I enclose the lower one as well as the upper one. The upper one, we've already gotten approval to do so. We would like to get this, the first floor enclosed as well. Below it, where it's cool. brick? I'm just it's like this, yeah. That section oh, right see, there. I yep. see, I see. Happening here with the railing continue, or is this part of the? That's a bump out, mm -hmm. so it's right. uh, it it's on the face. This one oh, is enclosed on That's the top right. as well. Yeah. Correct. It wants to enclose both. Mm -hmm. Back to here. So it's this house here that we're looking at. Mm -hmm. So in essence, a a replication of what's happening at the second floor on yours and then bringing it down to the first floor in the same kind. Exactly. And you say color-wise? Uh, one, one color had been suggested. It was uh, blue, and we really like the idea of a blue uh, for the addition and a pale gray for the um, shingled uh, main body of the house. The we main body looks like it's blue in the... That's just in the picture. Like I said, it was just something to have contrast now so that it would be easy to see. Mm -hmm. okay. But but that would be the the main body would be the pale gray and the hardy plank would be the deep blue. And so right now you're just natural shingles? Correct, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, they're just aged uh, cedar shingle, cedar shake. So are you, you you're keeping the existing shingles? No, I want to hire a contractor to redo the shingles and repair a lot of them. Okay. That'll be probably a spring summer job after the porches are completed. So, is there any wooden detail work that you'll be putting back, like on the house next door to you with the. I want to um, recreate the columns that are uh, to the right of the photograph where the staircase runs up. Those are completely rotted out, but I want to rebuild them and do them exactly as they were with the same decorative molding at the top and bottom. And I want to salvage the good railings that are on the proposed enclosed porches and use them to enclose, to, to reuse them on the right side where the staircase runs up. And then also 
if I can salvage enough of them, on the lower section where the bricks, brick pad is, because those are just two by fours that have been nailed together and they don't look very pretty. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I want to use some of the railings that we would be dismantling on the lower level, on the basement exit. It's, there seems to be a, <clears throat> a disconnect between additions, alterations to the porch, the porch that's showing here in white and the shingle and the and the blue in the background is just nothing is kind of tying in to that whole back structure. That that's that's my uh, immediate reaction to it when I see this. Yeah. I think uh, the colors I, I don't know if that it, a lot. It, it, it might be something to do with the you know, cut and paste that which yeah. this what this looks like. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because even the um, the uh, the roof structure on the yeah. on the beige part, it's not even it's not sitting um, square on the Yeah, bottom and I think there. that's also the angle yeah. of the of the photograph. See, can you go can you go back to the house next door? You see, his at least everything flows, um, and it's and it's sort of coherent. Right, and the body of his is a peach color. Uh, in the rendering, I have it as blue. His addition's white. Well, and I guess I guess what 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 I can't see is is the the detail of the the cornice, the the soffits, and all that sort of thing. The way that you you have you know the, this but uh, I really can't even make out what's going on with that white. It looks like it's right yeah right right there where you just had the right there. What is that? <laughs> it looks like a hole. It's like you know all this. It's, 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 it's like the white and the, it's and just and the cut and paste. It, exactly. Oh, is that That's what all it is. is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It, it's the windows are certainly not going to be installed at an angle. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Or the columns. So you're going to you're going to so you're going to continue that. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Are you doing this work yourself? No, I'm hiring a contractor. Yeah, that has a crew, uh, and they are they were scheduled in November, but everybody keeps you putting you pushing you. Mm -hmm. So how are you going to present this to the building inspector? Uh, as in closing the porches. Well. And and a remodel. Have you have you gone for a building? Permit yet? Not yet. No, I wanted to get the full approval before I move forward with that, and I also wanted to get a well, solid start date on my contractor. Wouldn't, wouldn't they ask for a drawing, and what are they going to ask for? I, I mean, I guess my point is, I, I don't know that you're going to get a building permit from this. They're going to want to see the plan, I think, because okay. you're enclosing this, you're making something out of it, and I'm sure he's going to want to see. He, he's going to want to see possibly an elevation in, in a wall section and uh, are these off of a bedroom they are off of uh, the second level is off of a bedroom the first level is off of a great room and where I'm going in terms of the bedroom is whether or not there'd be an egress through a window issue if you've got a side window that meets the code require an egress and you get back to Rick's point of a building permit, they, sure. they're going to be asking about those type of okay. things to make sure you you meet the code in terms of yeah, I mean, sleeping my, area. I want, to, I want to get all my ducks in a row and have the approval first, yeah. then move forward with getting the contractor to write up exactly what he's going to do, spell it all out, and then get the building permit so that we can move forward to right. the remodel. And in terms of color of the shingles and the, and the enclosed porch, is that something that will be done administratively? It depends on what's proposed. Um, if it meets the guidelines, I'll approve that administratively. If I think it's beyond what the guidelines say, I'll send it to the commission. Okay. I think that, Rick, I think that's going to go a long ways to assuaging our, our concerns is to see it realistically rendered uh, as to what, what the, sh the whole of the house in terms of shingles are going to be in terms of if not natural, mm -hmm. a, a color, and then how all the trim, just like you noted on the adjacent house, that all the trim and the porches are all the same white, that if that starts to happen, so that it's a base color on the, on the body of the house and everything else is, is a white to 
to match that, it, it, to complement that, then I think your concern, Rick, and ours as well might be, um, might go away. Well, I mean, it's just like that, that little stub of, that's protruding out with the shingles on it. Should that be incorporated within that, you know, the siding there, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and, and that is a little oddity. What's it? What's what's in that thing? <laughs> it's a small pocket closet inside of the laundry room that was framed out at some point. Okay. And it's back further than the face of the porch. Uh, it is back about a foot from the face of the um, skirt board. So is does, does, is there access from the inside to that? There, there is. That's the laundry room off of the kitchen. And is it access door yeah. to, from the outside also? Yep. The top of the staircase. How wide is that? That, the, I would say, is right the there. better of maybe three foot wide, but I believe it could be four across. But so the, that's okay, the so that sits that we're seeing, yeah. And that sits behind the column. Yeah. <laughs> and so you're not changing that? No. So no, that is just be, going to be, that'll be refurbished. The receipt. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be scraped, cleaned, and repainted. All right. Would the ceilings on the uh, porches be wooden um, um, sheathing, or what? What, what do you? Or you on those, put, I would uh, like to wood. do some tongue and groove, uh, maybe stained. Mm -hmm. um, I'll come back and get ideas from you guys. I know that the front porches look really nice in a, in a pale blue, uh, but the rear porches, I could do the same, if that's. Uh, the style of the okay. period of the home. What year house is this? Uh, 1912. So for 1912, is there sheathing there now for the ceilings of the roof, or is it uh, uh, tongue? Is well, it tongue believe it is tongue and grooved. Yeah. It's tongue and grooved. Yeah. 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 And that's what I would like to do on the lowest level, on the bottom. <coughs> thing, once everything's completed. So two-inch tongue and groove. Is that what's there, or? Orange there's nothing tongue. underneath on the yeah, first one on the the top of the staircase. There's I think it's a two inch, two and a yeah. half maybe. So you would propose putting back the the same. Okay. And let's go. Are these wood windows? The ones that you I'm proposing to do uh, wood uh, with uh, uh, aluminum uh, skin. Okay. Yes. Do you know which brand or which which? Uh, I haven't shopped around yet because we need to know all that. Well, I wanted to know the style yeah. so that I know exactly what to shop. If it's uh, no lights, just one over one or two over one. Uh, or What's in your house now? I'm sorry? What, what, do, you, what do you have now? <clears throat> the existing windows? Well, there's none on this porch because no, they're, no, they're I mean open. The, the house itself? Uh, most of them, they vary, but the, a, lot, a lot of them are uh, three, six, nine over nine. I was going to say, you see that upper port, that upper window is yeah. a nine over nine. And is this window oh, yeah. here? That or was that an addition? That was, it was there, <laughs> that yeah. That was there as that's well. That's a newer one. Yeah, that's yeah. not original. Okay. The one up top. The one up top is. Yeah. Line over it is, yeah. That's the front of the that's house? That's the front, yeah, exactly. Some vary. So we'd probably want to see no lights in them at all. So you can just Yeah, distinguish. I think you mentioned having a difference between the main body of the house. Yeah, and that's right. why I was proposing maybe doing an uh, open one at the bottom and then having six at the top. Well, I know, because then you're... It, it, then you're kind of confusing the whole. <laughs> okay. So at the last meeting, um, you guys did approve a COA for the upper porch, and you approved that the windows could be six over six, one over one, or casements. Or oh, what? Casements. Casement. Okay. So we didn't approve six over one. No. Yeah, I think one over one would probably be. One over one? Yeah. It'd be simple I'd, for I'd, you I'd, I'd actually prefer that mm -hmm. because you get more view out of the one over one. Less cleaning too. Is, is, uh, is there a door, or, or do you propose a door on the first floor enclosed um, no. section to go out into this balcony where no, the laundry room there's, is? No, there's no exit point off of that. Okay, porch. so you, only there's no there's no access to either one of the the first floor or the second porch. Correct. No. Only from the inside only of the, from the house. interior. That's right. Any more discussion? Do I hear a motion? Exactly. Uh, what would we be approving? 
do you have to specify the windows and um, <coughs> Yeah, I think you want to be specific about what you're, what you want to approve today. Because if you say approved as submitted, I would, it could be interpreted that you're approving those colors. Yeah, um, and it sounds like there might be some concern over the teal. And I will yeah. table that until the next yeah. meeting, and I'll bring you guys choices. The colors are not my my need at this moment. For moment, uh, the windows would be nice to know. Uh, so I think you guys are okay with doing just casement, no panels, just the open bottom and top. One yeah, one, one over one. one. Yeah, yeah, that would be great. Yeah, I move that we approve based on the generality of, of the rendering, noting that the trim, that all trim will match existing trim and be in continuous Short. continuation thereof. Uh, that windows would be one over ones, um, aluminum clad wood. Right. Is that covering all the bases in? The columns are going to be wood also? The two right columns will be wood, yes. Okay, and the, what's, and the railing looks like it continued to me to, on the other photo to go all yeah, the way Yeah, and that will be the case. It won't be cut. Okay, so the railing yeah. will be in kind. The railing and columns, again, match in kind to existing. Sure. Okay. And colors to be reviewed at a, a future submission. Yes. Okay. As you get to it. Yeah. <laughs> and the siding material was approved last time for Hardy Blank. Right. right. And should we request any additional drawings for the building inspector that might be pertinent to the design of this be submitted? Well, I guess the building official would request anything that they're going to look at and require. I mean, we don't even know the window sizes on this thing. Uh, you said to match the neighbor at 2900 Rivermont at the last time. Um, I'm not sure the building re plan yeah, reviewer actually, would require window sizes. I um, actually feel like I need to speak up because I spend a lot of time in the customer service center listening to them, you know, discuss permits. We, we don't require, he's not going to require, let me back up, there's not a level of Expertise. A, a person can come in and just hand draw a drawing for the building for the plans reviewer so to review. Come in with what it is. wouldn't be required that he bring in a stamp set for sealed. something like this. Yeah, for something like this. Well, I'm not suggesting he might need a stamp set, but I mean, sometimes they want to see what the structure is going to look like. I mean, yeah, I, but I mean, like a hand drawing can be fine. He'll he'll ask him to hand draw it. Um, okay. And yeah, maybe indicate window sizes and stuff like that, but it won't be very. It can be it can be hand drawn and not to scale, and and he just does the, I guess you know the best he can to interpret what somebody <coughs> submits to him. So the last time we had the last meeting, we what did we approve again? We approved the second floor to match the guy next door. The windows. Rebuilding signs. of porches with the upper porch enclosed. Approved to match neighbor at 2900 Rivermont. What's here? Required details include faux columns to mimic current columns um, and hardy plank with wood grain siding. Windows may be six over six, one over one, or casements. Um, so was okay. I, so and maybe the columns are not supposed, are not required to be wood. So that, so that's already been approved. So now we're approving the one on the this, first floor. The first floor. Which is basically mimicking the An one extrusion on the, of the top. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe we should add in there something about the scale of the windows being in the same scale as the one next door. Windows one over one in similar size to adjacent property. So are you amending the one from last time that gave him the options for six over six, one over one, or casement? Well, I think in discussion, I don't um, care. Okay. alluded yeah. to one over well, one. Well, I think we said six over six only because this guy has them. It looks like he's got ah. nine over nines also. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so I guess in lieu of the fact that he has six over six, uh, but you, you prefer one one anyway. Yeah, and that would be fine. Size, is okay. that size of the and what we're, we're comparing, um, what you're proposing today to right. the neighbor, is is that room on the second floor comparable to the size that uh, you're they're proposing? Identical they're identical. Size. There. I second the motion. 
All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Hearing none. <laughs> Thank you. We, what am I supposed to say? Approve it? So that was the windows, the trim, everything to match the upper. <clears throat> okay. And colors of the future. Yep. Yes. Colors later. Yep. Okay. Great. Thank you all. Alrighty. Thank you. Bye. And Rick, just to add something that I actually just learned today, because I thought, you know, person brought in drawings for a new house, and I thought they had to be stamped and sealed, and they had sort of taken a lot of other, several people's drawings and put them together and said, this is what I like. Wow. And I heard Mike, who's the plans reviewer, say that you are still required, you're still going to be held to the code whether these plans are correct or not. So right. I think that's the reason why, you know, the drawings don't necessarily have to be, uh, you know, drawn to code, am I making sense? But the contractor's still held responsible for meeting the building code. So he could basically go in with what he just showed us. Exactly, and that, and that would probably <coughs> be enough for Mike because he's going to still be held to the code. Yeah, okay. All right, new business. <clears throat> we have a request by Robert Bruce Johnson to replace two wooden columns with polymarble replacements fabricated to match the originals at 517 Washington Street. If you could give your name, address, okay, and a, a brief description of your project. Well, the house was built in 1911, and one of the wood columns has totally collapsed and was unsafe, so we need to replace it, um, which is a challenge because they're not only are they fluted, but they're tapered. So we had to find a company that you know could be able to custom make them to match. And there were two companies that we researched. One was Chadsworth, incorporated out of Wilmington, North Carolina. The other one is Melton Classics. They're based in New Bern, North Carolina, but they're fabricated in Atlanta. And uh, we looked into wood, as which is which they're currently wood, versus a more uh, durable contemporary product, which is poly marble. Um, we have precedence on on my street, Washington Street, for uh, substitution of material. Uh, at 400 Washington Street, they substituted a modern type of a plastic for the original slate, which uh, you know has a lifetime guarantee. And this product that we're getting has a lifetime guarantee also. Um, so basically, the, the diameter uh, of the top of the column is 13 and a half inches and at the bottom it's 16 inches so you can see there's a taper and the uh, the bottom three feet of the shaft will be plain the way they are now uh, versus the uh, the fluting the fluting stops and then you see the the, the plainness that's basically it so they so they will match. Oh, they'll be a they'll be a perfect match in terms of all the diameter. The only difference, as I mentioned, is the material. Mm -hmm. And there's things they can do with um, some of these contemporary materials that are probably almost exact, you know, to the original and uh, longer lasting, and and also. Chesworth told us they would have to get the wood would have to be redwood, and I didn't like the idea of losing any of, any more of our redwood uh, to my house. So that was that. All right, Bruce. The shaft and the capital is the poly. Yes, both. <laughs> so that'd be matching. And they have they also have good support. Uh, each column will support up to sixteen thousand pounds, eight tons which is obviously sufficient to support the roof 
which is this is off, of, and this isn't the front columns, this is the side columns off of our kitchen, which Emma will remember having designed. Nice work. It still faces the front of the house, though, doesn't it? What's that? This is still facing the front of the house, isn't it? Uh, yeah, but there's a Japanese U that does obscure the columns from the front. Facing around the corner. I mean, you could so, probably right. see them if you really looked. Um. There's a Japanese U. <laughs> yeah. Right. You can see them from that angle. Okay. Do I hear a motion? A move to approve is submitted. Second. Discussion? There's no discussion. I will move for a vote. All in favor? Aye. Uh, all not in favor. Hearing none, motion passed. Thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Second action of the day is a request of Victoria's Inventory LLC to replace roofs, repair and or replace wood trim details. Repoint brick masonry, repair windows, doors, rebuild existing balconies, and add balconies to the building at 301 Rivermont Avenue. And here we have the representative. Um, Casey Service with Architecture Design Office. We're the architects for the project. All right. Um, so, Tell me what you want to look at. yeah, and this is, this is what I submitted, right? Because. Mm -hmm. Rick and I both had issues this morning trying to pull it up on the website. So I heard that. that. Yeah. You know, five minutes before the meeting. <laughs> no. <that's, laughs> um, so the most of the work were well. Let me start with we're it was apartments and we're going back with new apartments, but we're adding a few, so we have to go through a conditional use permit. Um, so we'll be back with any site work in the future, um, but the owner wants to stabilize the exterior and get started on that work sooner rather than later. So um, this submittal is uh, basically covering that and that extends to replacing the asphalt shingle roof with new asphalt, uh, repointing the bricks, repairing the existing windows and doors. Um, and really the reason we're here is because we'd like to tear down the existing balconies which are in poor shape and rebuild in in place new balconies and then add some additional for some of the other other units because right now only certain units have balconies and we'd like to get more these are down the two sides the front facade on rivermont um, is really what you see from the street and you don't you can sort of see the balconies back in there um, and the idea is to come back with new balconies in kind with similar metal railings but that are code compliant 42 inches high instead of 30 and um and and part of adding the balconies would be converting some of the windows to new doors to match the existing doors um, probably aluminum clad instead of wood but match the colors of the windows and and the profile and size Do you have a detail of the porch rail? <coughs> the if the last sheet, if you yeah, if you zoom in there, um, I'm, we're really just thinking sort of metal pickets with a a pretty. It's a pretty simple railing that's there now. Um, so just small little it's three still, quarter. Would still be metal. Still okay. metal railing. So we're the the existing balconies are a mix of um, they're all wood framed balconies but the support posts are a mix of metal and and wood we're proposing to go back none with of all that, none of that's original anyway none of it's original anyway um but we're proposing to go back with with treated wood posts um so you're still doing uh six by six pressure treated yeah I, we have the structural engineer hasn't weighed in but yes i'm assuming that there'll be six by six posts um so none of the railings on the building <coughs> are 
are original at all? I, I'm not on those balconies. No, I mean, I mean, the balconies, none of the balconies are original Rick at all? Rick was out there today. I mean, there were balconies. There were definitely balconies there. It just doesn't look like what's there now mm -hmm. is original. Because yeah. the doors are clearly original in those locations. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I think the... Um, I, ass I assume you're doing the specs as far as the correct mortar and all that for the yes yeah yeah we put in the application that'll be per the secretary of standards <clears throat> it, for the reporting just a side question yeah tax credits no tax credits on this one so the 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 roof he's planning on replacing with the membrane if you is yeah. is that little dormer yeah those those areas so you don't really see those there's a couple larger too on the front and back what's but on there now metal it, yeah it's a metal it's a, a seamed metal that is just yeah. So not that same. Yeah. So that and, and then the side. And then instead of asphalt, we're proposing fiber cement. Okay. And so I think in that the, little triangle, and, just and, on that little triangle right there, yeah. And so I think the and and, and they are repairing the windows. So I think mm -hmm. the big issue on this uh, proposal is the addition of balconies and adding and and substituting doors for some of the windows to get on the balconies. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's uh, six of each on each side. Six, six new so, on each side. So it's it's six new, and then also like in those pictures, you can see on the first floor where the existing balconies are, there isn't actually a balcony what? on the on the back side. That's where grade is. So um, there are little. You're, you're actually creating eight on per side, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. 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 Well, we're creating. Um, well, you, twelve. Yeah. yeah. 12 per side because it's three on each of four sets because we're proposing to add a, a first floor right, balcony right. where there isn't one okay yeah. yeah so so that's what's that's the big thing with this one yeah. i think it's 12 on this side and eight on the other side because is the there, first floors any, are great is there any evidence of of how the um balconies may have been supported in the past on the when you look at the building N not would there have been brackets instead of posts could have been. Well, there, there, probably, there might have been. I guess the, it looks like there were posts in those historic photos that you that I hadn't seen before. Those are awesome. But I, it might. Because it, it, it was a you, tree. When you look at one of the pictures, it, there was like a there was some type of maybe there brackets. Bracket that came out. Yeah. This maybe it's yeah. I there are little metal brackets there they are not structural yeah no, but that, I know so i don't know if hung off of they, hung off the building. yeah that one doesn't look like they extend down does it yeah maybe it may, and it's hard to tell because it's just like they, they don't extend to that first floor but the the yeah i think that um Am I supposed to be talking as the chairman? I don't know if I'm supposed to be making comments. <laughs> I know you. <clears throat> Technically, I'm not supposed to, but I'm the advocate for this. So. Um, <clears throat> I don't see any issue with the materials that are being used because it it it, <clears throat> it definitely is going to look new, so it's going to look like an addition. Um, it's going to look like something newer than the original building. <clears throat> I think what this commission has to decide is whether or not they're okay with the <clears throat> new door openings and the new, you know, at doubling the, the amount of balconies because it is changing the facade of that building. So that, I think, is what's under discussion here. And so what do the architects think? <clears throat> I don't know. What does the architect think? <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, what, what I initially told him I really didn't have an, an issue with it. Uh, I'll admit that now because I was out there. Uh, I guess, I mean, you really, I, I think the the front facade is, is really what you see in this building. I mean, I, I live right there. I live on off of D Street, so I go by this building every single day. And it really is difficult to see anything on the side of that building, especially in the summer. Yeah, especially yeah. in the summer. Uh, the the <clears throat> even though that elevation that he drew looks very different with all those uh, balconies, the materials are very 
translucent. You really, I think they almost kind of disappear. You, you really don't see them. Um, my, my concern would be not so much that, but uh, who is he marketing this to? You know, if it's students, <clears throat> you're going to have a lot of students hanging over balconies and that sort of thing. You know what I mean? With a lot of uh, furniture out there and yeah. uh, just junk and that, that kind of thing. You, you know, I, you know I what think happens you can, with balconies. I think anybody can move in and you can yeah. have a pack rat who has... I mean, what 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 are the apartments? Are they one bedroom, two bedrooms? They They're are all, all yeah. What are they? <laughs> They're, back all They're all one bedrooms. One bedrooms. Yeah. They're, they're, we have a handful of flats that because we need an accessible unit at the. So there's a handful of flats at the front, but then the rest are are sort of little one bedroom townhouses that go are on the top two floors or on the bottom two floors. So essentially, like the. They're the way they they work out. One um, townhouse will get access to the lower so level. Actually, the they, two balconies, one is off the bedrooms, one is off. Exactly. Yeah. Bedrooms. So some of them. Yeah. So but every every unit will have. A not every unit, but but most, most of, them. of them. There was. I mean, I didn't think you guys would really like it if I got every unit of a balcony because <laughs> that would really change the elevation. We tried to stay with the the scale of of the existing to. And I guess that's where I was going. If, if I'm the, looking at the elevation, the windows that are happening in the dormers is the bedroom, and then the so for the rooms. upper level townhouses, yes, the the be, those are the dormers, and then the third floor, all the balconies, the units that get balconies on that floor are in the living rooms. Yeah. On the first and second floors, some units will have a balcony off the bedroom, and some will have it off the living room. And the third floor gets no balconies. Well, the fourth floor is uh, the, the third and fourth are all townhouse units. The second, oh, the first oh. and second are a mix of flats and townhouses. And I, I guess where I was going is to ease it a little bit. Would it be possible that on the second floor, where there are bedrooms, just to not have a balcony, since it's more a living so it's a room long space anyway? Okay. So that you could back down the count some and just lessen. I, I agree with Rick that. It's going to be much more transparent than we see yeah, here. The, These dark lines or a lot the, of little lines. The only issue I see with that is that you're then spanning your posts are two stories and they're mm -hmm. going to okay. get bigger and uh, in some ways actually make it more substantial. Yeah. It's like symmetrical, I think, especially versus yeah. how it is today. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anything done will be an improvement. Right. Yeah. It's, we were just talking. It's, I, they, it's only been vacant for six months, and it's really. Yeah, just, to, I mean, just to look at the balcony, this two story balcony on the front. Yeah, and that's clearly the sides, yeah. differentiated. And we're, yeah. that we're just, you know, so you're gonna, you have to keep it. And the that's in the first bay anyway. So that's going to already be, that's already there. So mm -hmm. everything is happening behind it mm -hmm. from a view from, yeah. the, from Rivermont. I enjoy the side of this building when I come across the bridge going to Rivermont. I do, I do see the, I do pay attention to the back, to to the side of this building, in hopes that one day I'll come around and see the front <laughs> re restored. Um, yeah. I'm okay with them. Yeah. I move for approval. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed. Motion passed. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Do a nice job. Construction <laughs> next week, right? <laughs> <laughs> I have never noticed this. All right. I wonder what if they were going for tax credits, what DHR would say yeah, about, the, about, about doubling the those. And, and about the wood. Yeah, my, my gut is that yeah. it would be much more stringent than we. The wooden elements. Yeah, wooden elements. Yeah, elements. Know. They would have pushed for brackets mm -hmm. instead of yeah. columns and, yeah. and less know. of them, less. Because they they want it to look like 2018, so they may not have wanted to duplicate. Or, or, you, know, well, you know, if, if, if you got, if you, unless you have a document and proof of what was there. Kind of contempt the more contemporary the better. All right. Um, so is that it for today? I, I've got That's audio and video reminders. Items, yep. What what is? Uh, and then yeah, you, you can go ahead and close the meeting. Um, oh, I can. We'll discuss the audio visual reminders for um, just being on camera.
If there's no further business, I close the meeting for today.